Hi friends! One of my favorite things to do in the spring and summer is sit outside and look at all the cool bugs that come creeping and crawling by me. Like beetles and ants and ladybugs and even bees. I love bumblebees with the yellow and black pattern on their body. They're big and fuzzy and they make a sound. I'm going to teach you a fancy science word for a bug that has six legs. Are you ready? Insect. Can you say insect? Awesome! An insect is a special kind of bug that has six legs, a head, a thorax, and that's kind of their body, and an abdomen. And their abdomen is like your tummy. So to be an insect, you need to have six legs. Show me six fingers really, really fast. Awesome job. A head, a thorax, and an abdomen. Lots of insects also have antennas. Whoop! Those little things that come off their head. Those antennas do a very special job. They help insects smell, yeah, they help them smell and feel their way around them. Lots of insects also have wings, like grasshoppers and bees, wasps, and ladybugs. I'm going to read a book to you all about bugs. This book about bugs has lots of different insects in it. I'm sitting in the grass here because maybe we'll see a couple insects or creepy crawly bugs while we're reading this book. All right, let's start. Our book for story time today, friends, is called The Bug Book. The Bug Book. Ooh, I see a ladybug right there. That is an insect. And a dragonfly. And a buzzy bee. And some kind of really cool beetle. Ooh, a caterpillar. Do you think a caterpillar has more than six legs? Yeah, look at all of his little feet. A caterpillar is not an insect, but what's really cool, when a caterpillar turns into a butterfly, a butterfly has six legs and a butterfly is an insect. The bug book is by Sue Fleiss. Sue Fleiss wrote and illustrated this book. She wrote the words and she drew the pictures. Let's open up the cover of our book. Oh, look, I'm seeing the title again on this page, The Bug Book. What's the name of that special page that has the title on it again inside the book? Right, the title page. And I'm looking at these big letters right here. I bet you can help me with those letters. Let's say them together. B. And what sound does B make? B, B, B. U. Uh, uh, uh. G. G, G, G. Let's make all those letter sounds together and we'll see what word they say. B, uh, G. B, uh, g. Let's say them a little bit faster together. B, uh, g. Bug. Bug. You just read the word bug. Kiss your brains, friends. All right, let's find out about some bugs. Grab your bucket. Check your guide. Let's go find some bugs outside. Fast bugs, slow bugs, off they go bugs. 
and the illustrator did these dashy lines for us to follow with our finger. Hot bugs, fly bugs, way up high bugs. Caterpillar centipedes. Moths that fly at record speeds. Look at him go. Creep bugs, climb bugs, sticky slime bugs. Turn bug squirm bugs, earthy worm bugs. Would an earthworm be an insect? It's a creepy crawly bug, but it doesn't have six legs, so not an insect. Good thinking. Roly poly butterflies, bumpy bugs with bulgy eyes. Look at all those awesome bugs. Chirp bugs, sing bugs, rubbing wing bugs. Shoe bugs, squish bugs. Don't squish the bugs. That wouldn't be kind, would it? To the house and up the wall, ants go marching down the hall. This picture reminds me of our pizza shop tablecloth. That's in our pizza shop, doesn't it? Sky bugs, land bugs, dig in sand bugs. Swim bugs, glide bugs, water stride bugs. Beetles, spiders, bumblebees. Let's take a look at this bumblebee. We'll see how many legs he has and if he's an insect. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, he has six legs. Here's his little head on top, his thorax in the middle, and his abdomen right here, his last body part. He has antennas on his head that help him feel and see around and two wings that help him fly. And I just love the black and yellow pattern on the bumblebee's body. Let's say the pattern together. Black, yellow, black, yellow, black. And they're so fuzzy. On the sidewalks, in the trees. Stink bugs, mud bugs, suck your blood bugs. Ooh, that mosquito. Web bugs, spin bugs, got stuck in bugs. Does a spider have six legs? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs. Eight is more than six. A spider is not an insect. It's a different kind of bug. Bugs that camouflage and bend. Bugs with legs that never end. It's that daddy long legs bug. Itch bugs, head bugs. Uh-oh, bed bugs. Shy bugs, bold bugs, catch and hold bugs. Look at the spotty pattern on the ladybug. Bugs that love and bugs that fight. Careful of the bugs that bite. Ooh. Big bugs, small bugs. We love all bugs. Day bugs, night bugs, tails that light bugs. 
Have you ever caught fireflies outside in the summertime? Those are beautiful. Bugs in beds of soil deep. Dreamy bugs fall fast asleep. Check out some of these cool bugs. Bumblebee, bumpy bug, cricket, rhino beetle, hawk moth. The end. Friends, what bugs could you find outside? If you find a bug, remember to be kind to your bug. And see if you can be really gentle, if you can catch, kind of count his legs and see if he has six. Maybe look at his antennas and see if it has wings. I love bugs. They come in all sizes and colors and they are so awesome. I'll see you soon friends. Be safe, be helpful, be kind.